what's up everybody this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a login form in Java with login attempt using NetBean IDE statically that is no connection with the database so I have made many video on how to create a login form in many languages like Java, PHP, C Sub, Android using both database and non-database concept but that all tutorial doesn't have any limit in the login window so this video is a little bit different than the previous one in many practical application uh, we need to grant the access to the user when they enter correct username and password so in case they forget their username and password we need to give them chance up to a number of times generally three times is given Bend the three times uh, we need to make such system which does not receive user input this is far more reliable method because many times attempts to a login in some application causes the application crack and unauthorized person can unauthorized person can try many times to get the access to other user system so that it is important to limit the login so let's do it first of all open the netbin id go to file click on new project click java java application click next give the project name and click finish Now after this, right click over here, click new, and then click new JFrame form, click finish. Now we are going to create a login form. So we need two labels for username and password section and two text field for username and password in on button for login. So drag and drop two label over here and then two text fails and finally the one button and now change the text Now you can change the size of this label from here from the property and then select the size and same process for the past fill click right click and then click on property and from the font change to 18 and same process for button There you go. Now change the text of this text field. Now change the variable name of this text field to txt user and this to txt pass. Change the text of this button login. There you go. Now double click on login button and then we need to write the code over here. First of all, declare the variable that is stored the username and password from the user. So the string user is equal to txt user dot get text. Pass is equal to txt pass dot get text so we are creating a login form statically so if user dot equals there goes text support name 
and pass dot equals first of all we are creating uh, only the simple login form that is the user input and display the message to the user And then we are uh, adding the limit in our code. After this, we need to display the message Jefferson pan dot so message dialog. Here goes null and here goes exist. Else That's it. Now run this code. If you type TSN and then TSN, it should display the message exists. Otherwise, it should display the message denied. Now we are going to um, add the limit. So that uh, declare the one variable uh, inside this class global leg. We need to declare this variable uh, inside the, uh, this class and not inside this uh, click event of this button because each time uh, we run this. Uh, application uh, the item should be increased gradually but if you declare this variable over here uh, after uh, increasing this variable value it uh, initialized from this is previous value so you need to declare this variable from here that means declare this variable globally now after this we need to uh, give the three times chance to the user to log in into their system so if attempt is less than 4 and user dot equals this one we need to access to the system otherwise else if attempt is not equal to 4 if the attempt is not four times then we should display the message denied in the number of time that they attempt else if they exceed the number of time that is if they exceed the their attempt time more than three times we need to display the message attempt exceed so Now after this, uh, we need to disable this both username text field and password text field. So for this, we can use txt user dot 
set editable to false in the txt pass dot set enabled you can use either editable or enable both and here goes the boolean value false and then we need to increase increase the attempt attempt plus plus now let's check if we input other than the uh, username and password that we given in our program statically then it should display the message denied and the number of attempt is one and then click again the number of attempt is two and then click again number of attempt is three now after clicking again then the user try to log in into their system uh, four times so attempt exceed after this our system does not accept the input from the user so that the user cannot edit over here and the password expil is disable click login attempt exceed so after uh, clicking again and again this system display the message constantly uh, denied six, uh, six times denied seven times so uh, it is not uh, relevant to display this message again and again so we need to close this window uh, when the user uh, click on the login form uh, login button so for this uh, go over here and uh, write own condition if attempt is equal to five if the user click the login button five times then we need to uh, exit this window so for this this dot dispose now run this program and check one times two times three times and after clicking four times attempts exceed after clicking five times this window should be closed that's it so again if you uh, input the right information the message should appear login exceed exit that's it uh, in this video tutorial guys uh, if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye